Hello everybody, Philip coming to you, not from Chiang Mai this time. I'm now in far north Queensland in Australia. Uh, this happens to be my 22nd trip down under, uh, but my first one for six years. Um, and I'm at the, the home of my sister Wendy and brother-in-law Glenn and uh, my nephews Freddie and Oscar. And I'm absolutely delighted to get back here. Um, the nature is stunning. Um, I'm in the middle of the day here, so I'm not sure there's too much bird noise. There's quite a lot of wind. Uh, the sun's coming in and out. And you're looking at some typical Australian bush trees. Now, far north Queensland is the top right-hand corner of the Australian nation, or the whole territory. Uh, and I love it. And um, I'm actually standing in front of what's called the platypus hut. I wonder if you've heard of what a platypus is. Well, in fact, a platypus is some kind of swimming animal. And uh, um, my family, my sister and brother-in-law, they have a, like a, um, a little tourist business here. And they've got two cabins and one gypsy wagon. And it's called Sweetwater Lodge. And uh, people come here and they love the nature. But a lot of uh, bird spotters and bird lovers come here because there's so much bird life in this part of the world. Um, if you don't really know about um, far north Queensland and Australia, in, uh, well Australia in general obviously in the southern hemisphere, not so many people down this neck of the woods in the planet, um, but far north Queensland is even less people and I reckon this must be one of the least populated areas of the whole planet and um, it's truly fantastic if, you, if you're a nature lover like me. Uh, look at that resplendent tree. Now the sun's coming out, which is great, great news. Um, let me just show you their family dog, uh, which is Chase. Hello, Chase. Hey, look at that beautiful dog. Now here's the platypus hut, just as the sun's coming out. And what happens is the guests who stay in the cabins or the gypsy wagon, um, and I'll show you that in, 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 as part of this series, uh, they come down here and they're, they're hoping to spot the platypus, which is a fairly uh, quiet sort of animal, doesn't really like to be seen too much. But what happens is they come in here and I think they have a barbecue here and they, you know, I think my sister and brother-in-law, Wendy and Glenn, they, they, they have parties here sometimes for their own friends. And you can see this like bar area, it's just magnificent. And there in Australian parlance is a creek and this is where the platypus lives. So let me just take you a bit closer and so you see people sit here and they have a drink whether it's a beer or a tea or a wine whatever it is um, and just over there where Chase is uh, is pure Australian rainforest it's fantastic um, and here's the creek so this is the creek and it's like a, a stream I suppose and the water's absolutely clean um, it looks black but that's reflecting uh, the surroundings. And in fact here, um, they drink their water. It comes straight out of the mountain, doesn't go through any government or anything. It's just simply their own water straight from nature. And it's delicious. Um, and uh, that's that iconic Australian blue sky that I love. And let's just do, let's do a little bit of tour for you. Um, and just to say something, this is my, I'm going to do a video diary while I'm here since I've become a bit of a videographer in the last year and I'm going to try and do daily updates for you. So this is number one um, and I'm going to call it, I think I'm going to call it a video diary from the platypus hut um, and this is number one. So you can go for a walk and, and, and I've been down that walk before but I, I came from the other direction which I'll show you. Back to that magnificent Australian tree, look at that. It's outstanding and you can see like you I walk along to the right of the tree and I hug the tree line and I go around there and uh, I don't know half a kilometer uh, that's their house up there behind all these trees and then uh, I think we can just can we see the cabins yeah the cabins are over there so there's two cabins and that constitutes sweet Sweetwater Lodge and they also have a, a proper gypsy wagon so if you like to pretend you're a gypsy you can stay in that and uh, what they do is that the cabins are magnificent and, I, and I'll come to you from the cabins in a in a future uh, episode of this series 
and uh, very popular with bird spotters from all over the, the country and even from other countries. And uh, I love birds as well. I, I don't see so many of them, but I, I love the noise. Bird song is very balming for the soul, a balm for the soul. So, this is the Platypus Hut from Sweetwater Lodge, hosted by Wendy and Glenn, my sister and brother-in-law. They've been here, oh, I don't know, over 15 years, and it's just a magnificent property. So, if you happen to be thinking of uh, a different kind of holiday, and this is Sweetwater Lodge, I might, I'll even put a link in, in my uh, description notes, uh, so you can actually check it out if you're interested. Um, this is just the far, far end of the, the property um, and uh, if you love walking like I do it's fantastic. Um, just a word of caution, there are some very big snakes in this part of the world. Uh, and last time I was here six years ago I was walking along this track just along there past the tree and uh, suddenly there's this like monstrous snake there, I don't know what it was, two meters and uh, thicker than my arm. And uh, so I didn't go that way. I came, I came back this way and went back home this way because it wouldn't move. So anyway, that's all, that's all part of it. Where I think wherever you get really stunning nature in the world, there are some dangers and I think they go hand in hand. And perhaps that's a, you know, perhaps that's a bit of a lesson about life. You know, as soon as you've got total paradise, there's always something in there to get you. And perhaps even in hell, there's some sort of little bits of heaven. So this is, this is, I think I'll close this one now. This is the, the first one of this series. Um, and uh, as I said before, I'm going, to, I'm going to try and do a report every day. Um, we are about a half an hour drive up the mountain range from the coast. And the nearest town is Port Douglas, which is a, an iconic um, tourist town. It's just marvelous. I think lots of people from Sydney and, and Melbourne, the big cities in the south, Adelaide, they all fly up uh, here for, for their holidays. And so I'll also bring you a report from Port Douglas the town, Port Douglas the beach, um, and Mossman is another, is another town nearby. So I'll bring you a report from there. But meanwhile, most of the time, I'll probably be doing a daily diary uh, from Sweetwater Lodge, because this is a holiday destination in itself. So until tomorrow, or until the next video, depending on when you watch them. Um, I bid you a, a happy day. Um, I imagine, in fact, thinking about it now, it's midday, so Europe is asleep, America is just going to bed, and we're at midday and it's nearly lunchtime. So let's finish with the platypus hut. Um, so um, I look forward to taking you on a, a wonderful Australian adventure for the next, and I'm here for three weeks, or just over three, three weeks tomorrow I go home, so hopefully I'll get about 20 videos in for you. I'll do a daily one. Uh, until then, take care, and um, I'll, see you in a, I'll see you in the next time.